Right, so that proves the theorem. So hence proven. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're doing great. Before we move on, please make sure you have subscribed to my channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. This is exercise number 5.1 and problem number 4. The problem statement says that there's a theorem P of n that 1 cube plus 2 cube plus up to n cube equals n into n plus 1 divided by 2 whole squared. Basis step. Prove that P of 1 is true, right? P of 1, how would we do that? The left hand side will only have one term, right? So you will simply write 1 cube. The right hand side will be substituted for n equal to 1. So the right hand side becomes 1 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 whole square. This equal to 2 divided by 2 whole square which is equal to 1. That means the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, right? So this is proven. Then we write down the inductive step and for this we write down p of k which is also called by the way inductive hypothesis so let's write down p of k p of k would be simply 1 cube plus 2 cube plus so on up to plus k cube equal to k into k plus 1 whole divided by 2 whole square right so similarly we will write p of k plus 1 that would be 1 cube plus 2 cube plus up to plus k plus 1 cube equal to simply substitute instead of n k plus 1 right so k plus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 whole squared let's uh, work out the right hand side a little bit more so it will be k plus 1 and you can simply add this one and this one so you can write k plus 2 whole divided by 2 whole squared now you start from the inductive hypothesis and try to reach uh, p of k plus 1 p of k to p of k plus 1 let's do that so we had 1 cube plus 2 cube plus so on up to k cube so going from this to p of k plus 1 we'll have to add the, another term we add this extra term here right so if we add something to the left hand side the right hand side we also have to do that there k into k plus 1 divided by 2 whole square plus k plus 1 cube right now the, we cannot we won't be doing anything to the left hand side so we are just uh, keeping that here i'm just going to use these two things here on the right hand side i'm going to solve it a bit further so i'm going to write k square into k plus 1 square divided by 2 squared so we take an lcm k square into k plus 1 whole square plus 2 square into k plus 1 whole cube whole divided by 2 square and we can take a uh, common k plus 1 whole square we can take k plus 1 whole square common from both these terms so let's do that k plus 1 whole square into k square plus 2 square and k plus 1 so 1 uh, k plus 1 will be left out from this uh, k plus 1 whole cube so divided by 2 squared k plus 1 whole square k square plus 2 square k plus 2 square divided by 2 square right then you can write it down as k plus 1 whole square and if you uh, look here this thing is actually k square plus uh, you can write 2 into 2k plus 2 square which is equal to k plus 2 whole squared right so this is uh, k plus 2 whole square so you can write k plus 2 whole square divided by 2 square so you can write it down as k plus 1 multiplied by k plus 2 divided by 2 whole squared this is the same thing as the right hand side of p of k plus 1 right so it means if we go from p of k to p of k plus 1 assuming that p of k was true we still reach p of k plus 1 which is uh, you know the direct derivative of p of n right so that proves the theorem so hence proven i hope you understood this concept and i hope you liked the video so if you did like the video please press like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do subscribe thanks for watching